Now, I'm not going to lie, this is kind of a knee-jerk reaction to a lot of quote-unquote drama I've seen from the Halo community over the past weekend. We had an unconfirmed leak of sorts that showed up on the Japanese Xbox store page for Halo Infinite and under the genre section, if you translate from Japanese to English, you see that it has Battle Royale Shooting as the genre. 343 nor Microsoft have commented on this as of this video. And with the quick responses from Sketch regarding the post about multiplayer not shipping with the release of the game, maybe there is something to read into here. Over a year ago, it might actually be two years, we got a reaction from Jeff Easterling, aka Grimbrother1, saying the only BR we're interested in is the battle rifle. But again, that was like two years ago and things have a tendency to change. Of course, battle royale games are extremely popular and provide a boost to franchises populations in the current game sphere. Titanfall's franchise has experienced a sort of revival with the addition of Apex Legends, reaching 25 million players. 25 million in its first week. Call of Duty's Warzone has hit 30 million and some would argue is more popular than Modern Warfare's standard multiplayer. The Battle Royale concept is a tempting one and it's also incredibly lucrative. At last count, Fortnite was making Epic Games around $300 million a month. Call of Duty was once considered a franchise that represented the cutting edge of gaming and is now turned into pretty much a Maddenized version of the FPS genre. But then Blackout came, and then a more refined Warzone. Halo has had kind of a tough run as of late. Back in 2007, you could have said Halo was the, the largest and most valuable entertainment franchise on the planet, and people wouldn't laugh at you. But not so much now. And this probably leads into my controversial opinion that people are so dead set in what they think Halo has to be that when they are presented with a new idea, they immediately shut it down. It's literally an angry man yelling at the clouds. The future is now, old man, and I'm sorry, but either you evolve and adjust or you get left behind. Now that doesn't mean I think the changes they've introduced have all been amazing, but I genuinely feel like those at 343 love the franchise and do want it to be successful and popular and they have tried to incorporate trends into the game that were, for lack of a better word, detrimental. It happens. Trial and error is a thing, and it seems like they have taken community feedback to heart with all the infinite changes. That being said, multiplayer has always been a huge staple of Halo, and has so much divisive conversations about what should be included, what mechanics, the map design, that I don't 343 could ever satisfy their fan bases, which seems to be two loud majorities of either classic gameplay mechanics and modern. Perhaps a brand new game mode, not game, but just game mode, with no real expectations or previous installments to judge from, might just be what 343 needs. Halo Sandbox in general really lends itself to a battle royale mode. You can disagree with me, but from all the weapons and equipment to vehicles, armor capabilities, overshields and camos, bubble shields, all these things add elements to the gameplay without going against canon or adding in crazy wacky new gimmicks. They say that Halo Infinite will be going back to a more classic style. The Battle Royale opens up a world of spreading their wings and doing things not possible in just Slayer or Free For All or Big Team Battle, which I see a lot of people say that Big Team Battle is basically a battle royale and it's I, that blows my mind i don't understand that but just imagine dropping in an odst pod or jumping out of a pelican or instead of a gas cloud cutting down the map it's the flood or parts of the halo ring falling away or the covenant is glassing the area around you it's so incredibly cool there's so much already there in the canon and i personally would love to see halo reaching millions and millions of new fans Nate Shot called out the Halo purists by saying, Halo purists don't want Battle Royale to be integrated into the franchise. Do you really believe Halo Infinite will succeed without capturing this massive wave of new generation players that have now only grown up with BR titles? Call of Duty is a perfect example. He's right. Halo God and Twitter Goat Moses said, I don't care who gets mad at me for saying this, Halo Infinite launching without Battle Royale is 100% a mistake. We should have taken advantage of the most popular FPS game mode on planet Earth. 
every major gaming influencer was literally begging for a Halo BR, it would have been huge. Halo helped define and establish the foundation of what multiplayer and online gaming could, should, and would be. Chief's Helmet is on the Mount Rushmore of multiplayer gaming, and with the addition of a BR, maybe they can change and define that genre as well. Now, when interacting with people on social media, the only reasons they would give me for reasons to not wanting Halo to have a BR is that, well they don't like the genre or if it was successful it would take away from people playing standard multiplayer but what is the problem with that a great game with a dedicated fan base to continue support it well i don't understand i truly don't see infinite even having that issue anyways because it's going to be free to play and cross-platform a reddit user posted this could a halo battle royale be fun for those who don't enjoy the mode i'm sure it could be well, why can't those people go and play another of the countless Battle Royale games out there? Because, anonymous Reddit user, maybe people like Halo and want to play Halo in a BR setting. I'm sure people would have been opposed to Apex Legends releasing and that they would want others to play Fortnite or PUBG, but millions logged on and boosted the Titanfall fanbase overall. Why wouldn't you want more people to enjoy your franchise? It baffles me. I understand people like to hate on popular things and want to try to go against the wave, but to consider Battle Royales a trend or a fad that will pass is, well, almost irresponsible. I sometimes feel like these are the same people who probably don't want Halo to evolve in any way and perhaps complain about every change 343 has made, but I digress. I truly want Halo to be successful and it's currently setting itself up to do just that. And if there's no BR, that's fine with me. No skin off my back. I don't know if I would even play the BR more than regular arena. I just know everyone says the BR fad is dying when the numbers say the complete opposite. That's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like. You can argue with me in the comments. That's fine. Be civil with one another, but you guys can be mean to me. I can take it. I hope you all have a fantastic day, week, month, year. And I'll see you in the next one.